He's met the Queen. He's dared to become a councillor here in the UK in vain. But he's dared something else, a kidney disease. Today on Daring Abroad, we feature Masharia Gakuru, who came here in 1995 for studies. He later became a busy publisher, a writer, a broadcaster. And then a kidney failure struck. I think I took so much work, workload in terms I had people and staff in Deford uh, office and then I was also traveling. This caused high blood pressure. I, in Darfur, I had, after I had traveled uh, from Nigeria, I started vomiting. I started showing signs of fatigue. I started uh, uh, scratching myself and because of the assignment that I had, I had to quickly be airlifted from Darfur to Khartoum. I stayed for one day there and then to London. This was in May 2008. Gakuru had no idea that his kidneys had failed. Initially, I thought it was just bad food until I was admitted Queen Elizabeth Hospital Woolwich, uh, then transferred to uh, King's College in South East London. I was told I was very ill, I was not urinating, and there was nothing. Uh, it, I, I had started now sort of going to a state of a coma of a, to some extent. Your body is like a bottle. So every fluid that you are drinking settles in you. So you start puffing up. One morning, Professor Korn, uh, Sui Korn, came and told me it has been confirmed that actually you have kidney failure, so you have to go on dialysis. Kidney failure is a condition in which the kidneys lose the ability to remove waste and excess water from the bloodstream. As waste and fluids accumulate, the other body systems get affected, potentially leading to complications. Gakuru had to go through a kidney transplantation to correct the situation. Kidneys are, 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 are donated by people that you are, have the same tissue typing, the same blood type, the same um, uh, lineage in terms of your inheritance, where you came from. It can be that way, or it can be somebody from anywhere else. You must be in one or the other having uh, some relationship in terms of ty uh, tissue typing. A number of illnesses can cause permanent damage to kidneys but the two main ones are diabetes and high blood pressure, which account for about two-thirds of the damage. Other contributors include obesity, smoking, and high cholesterol level. Symptoms of kidney problems include blood in the urine, foamy urine, swelling of the feet and face, and difficulty in breathing. Gakuru is a biomedical engineer whose journey to London began with his zeal for further studies. But before pursuing further studies, he had gained some exposure here through exchange programs in the medical field in the early 90s, which made him marketable upon his return to Kenya. We did the first CT and MRI with uh, Dr. Odik Odeko in Harlingen. We put the first city. Actually, this was the first city that was put in the country, if I remember. But this was not fulfilling enough for Gakuru, and London was still beckoning. So I told my wife, I'm going back to London. I saw the university that our lecturers were training, and therefore I wanted to go there. I wrote a letter to Dr. Roberts, who was running the course that were WHO uh, sponsored courses. And I was admitted to the university, yeah. where we are sitting now. Mm -hmm. Upon completion of his studies, Gakuru got a job as a biomedical engineer at the Royal London Hospital. I was there from 96, 97 and 98. However, it was not giving me what I wanted. I wanted to do trade. The first thing I did, believe it or not, I became a market trader. Mm -hmm. Meaning? I went and bought things in Manchester, in the lorry that I had managed to acquire. 
and brought them to Deptford Market and I started selling electrical goods, television, TVs, encouraging entrepreneurship. The, the whole purpose of coming here was not really to learn about medical engineering. The whole purpose was to learn about the culture and the people that lived in this country. I wanted to integrate. I wanted to learn how they did things and take them back to Kenya that I love. That's Gakuro's preoccupation as he continues to use his experience in raising awareness about kidney disease in collaboration with his partners, including doctors from across the world. He is the founder of Kidney Research Kenya. Indeed, I'm building a hospital. Indeed, we have trained their doctors out of it. Indeed, we have brought many people here in the UK to get the right practice, the true practice of how things are done and then take it back home. When I became ill, the first thing that we did is to try and do the best we can. I realized I could not go to Kenya to see my dad or my family or my mom because there were no dialysis. There was no dialysis in Yahuru where I come from. There's only place that I could have dialysis in Nairobi. Then every dialysis session was 10,000 Kenya shillings. So that was a pain that I felt. I couldn't travel because of this reason. So we put the first dialysis, low cost dialysis center at Kikuyu PCA Hospital. The station now in Kenya, I must say without any shadow of doubt, President Kenyatta has done, thing, has done something exceptionally good in bringing dialysis to the people. But the problem is, and it's not his problem, it's our problem as Kenyans. We have machines that the government has brought, have we trained the users. And that's where our work, Kidney Research Kenya, comes to play. Training doctors and nurses to use those equipments, not just in Kenya, but abroad. Right now, we've come from Kenya with 70 scholarships to train more doctors. These are from China. We, ha we don't have anybody to give to that will accept and take them from us. 2017, we came with 20 transplant uh, scholarships from Sheffield and Liverpool. We only had to give them to Equity uh, Afia to do something with it. The problem we have as people in diaspora is that we have no one in the ministry directly that will deal with many people that have something to offer to the country and is taken from one step to the next one. Despite the setbacks, Gakuru has never given up. He's still reaching out to both the national and county governments to embrace skills and technology transfer. What we've done, we put up a pilot project in Kiabu County when uh, Kabogo, uh, Governor Kabogo, William Kabogo was the, was the governor. We are setting our own hospital because we think there's a center of excellence that we can do out of what we have learned. And this will conclude the reason why we came to the UK. We have learned in the border of Nyandaro and Laikipia, where I come from, a place called Mahianyu. We have bought 20 acres of land. We are building a volunteer's house as we speak. Yes, living with a kidney condition, yet managing to travel around the world, pushing the kidney awareness agenda without allowing his writing skills to die. I kept a diary of every day that I lived, what I felt, what I did, what happened to me between me and my doctors, the conversation we had with our nurses, and the whole story, I put it over time that I was sick. Kidney failure, Gakuru says, can happen to anyone in any family and is emphasizing that donating a kidney to save a life should be a normal practice and there should be no fear. Because when kidneys fail, they fail the two of them. When kidneys are working, they work two of them. So, uh, and the reality is a man requires only one kidney to survive. Mm. One kidney is sufficient for any person. And that's why kidney transplantation is a good thing. If you are hearted, good hearted, and you would like to help someone, you are not in any danger in any way. My sister gave me a kidney. She's very fine. I am fine also. This feature would be incomplete without talking to the doctor who supervised Gakuru's kidney transplantation. It all happened at St. Elizabeth Hospital, and the doctor is Susanna Fernandez, who has done over 500 transplants in the UK. Well, it was just another day 
uh, at the office, really, although it was very special for him. But I was, uh, uh, it was a guy's hospital where we performed uh, uh, quite a number uh, of live-related kidney transplants per year. Once everything was saved, then we proceeded to the transplant on Gakuru later on in the afternoon. Yeah. It was a straightforward procedure and um, he did really well. What you're left with is what they call immunosuppression drugs. These are drugs that enable that your body does not reject the, ex the external kidney or the donated kidney in your body. So that is a big challenge for our kidney transplant patients because people have gone to India, they have had kidney transplant, and now they have come home. The immunosuppression drugs are very expensive. I'm hoping that the government will help the kidney transplant patients who are paying lots of money because it's thousands of, of uh, Kenya shillings to have a supply of medication every month. Gakuru is a self-taught journalist besides his biomedical engineering expertise. In 1998, he started a magazine known as Eastern Africa Magazine. He had a radio station and appeared on many radio and international TV programs. He has met Queen Elizabeth before and in 2018, he unsuccessfully vied for position of a councillor in Charlton. I stopped publishing, I stopped doing TV, I stopped doing radio. But the only reason I'm doing this is to reduce my uh, pressure as uh, somebody who was working. But my whole life is dedicated to renal health. I think that uh, Gakuru will be supported from UK doctors, people like me and colleagues of mine, to go uh, there. And I think that the importance is also to train people. So not only uh, Kenyan doctors and nurses coming here, but I think that there is a group of, of us which is interested in going there. And that's the daring journey of Masharia Gakuru, who has dared many things, including daring a kidney failure and he's using his experience to raise awareness across the globe on managing kidney disease. From London, I'm Alex Chamada. Bye-bye for now.